we're going to be sanding off all the paint and getting this old silky saw cleaned up today on Shea Bear 1000. Okay guys, uh, we got this old silky saw I got in all them tools that were given to me. And this thing's old, it's an antique. And let me tell you something, it is one of the lightest, well I think it is the lightest silky saw I've ever had. I've ever even picked up in my life. It's awesome. Um, but... It's not been well taken care of. Uh, someone, I don't know if you can see that, but someone has, you know, just sprayed some silver paint on it, you know, when it was closed. Well, you can see it real good there. Um, they just spray paint it. You, you never spray paint a saw blade, I mean. Uh, I'm not doing a full, complete restoration on it because I really don't have the right equipment for that. Some of them guys on... YouTube channels, man, them, them guys really make these things spectacular. Uh, I don't have the stuff to do that, so we're just going to clean it up and make it functional because I am going to be using this. So, um, I've just got, I've got some sandpaper over here. Um, all I've got right now is 80 grit and 120 so, I mean, we're just going to be sanding the paint off of the blade, the handle, you know. Um, I don't have any paint stripper, but uh, as you can see, you know, it's in pretty bad shape. Looks like it'll come off the blade fairly easy. Um, well, wait a minute. I do have 60 grit too, so I think that's the coarsest I've got. So, yeah, that's a, I'd like to have 40 grit, but um, I could put this in my palm sander, but I don't have the right sandpaper. Uh, it's a quarter sheet palm sander, and this is smaller than a quarter sheet, so, um, it looks like, like the teeth may be getting a little worn, come on, focus, right in this area here, and back here, because that's, that's where most, you know, it does most of its cutting. Um, it is fairly straight. Maybe a slight, slight bend to it. Nothing major. Um, but just gonna be a lot of, a lot of tough sanding. I don't have any. I'd like to at least sandblast a blade or something, but I do not have any sand or anything like that for my sand blaster. Uh, sometimes, depending on what it is, like you can use um, ground up walnut shells, um, you can use glass beads, you can use, uh, uh, of course, sand, different, different uh, grades of sand, um, how how coarse your sand is um, I've also used for like carburetors when I've wanted to really restore an old engine or something like a I would use baking soda yeah just regular baking soda on uh, carburetors really cleans them up nice uh, but this thing like I said it's just uh, I'm gonna use it So, there's going to be a lot of this in here. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, so, 
I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get this sanded off the best that we can with all we have here. Um, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the handle. I'll be back with you once we get it sanded. Okay guys, so this is as good as I want to go with it. I want to keep the patina on it. The blade is not, I know it looks rusty, it's pitted, uh, but it's nice and smooth now. That's all I was looking for. Um, what I did, I did get my palm sander out. And what I did was, I got me a piece of cardboard And I hot glued my sandpaper on there. So, that worked. Alright, so this hole here, I don't know if it's original or not, but it's already there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, make that a dimple, you know, just like, uh, what do you call it? We're going to put countersink it. Just make a little countersink in it. That's all we're going to do with that. like that on both sides see nice little countersunk hole there all right now on to what we're going to do with the handle all I'm going to do is throw some stain on it all right I got a little bit of stain left over in there from the coffee table I built you guys uh some of you guys probably has never seen it, but I'll put a link, uh, not in the description, but at the end of the uh, at the end of this video, you can just click on it and you can see where I'm making the coffee table. That's all I want to do with it. I just wanted it cleaned up. I want it functional, you know, so. I can use it so I may you know do a little more cleaning there but there we go. all right but first let's see how it cuts it's got a piece of palm frond there I mean it'll give me an idea how it's going to cut because I'm not going to be cutting anything major with this thing you know we're just going to be camping with it so should have used a regular like a piece of pine or even oak these things are hard to cut through because they they stab it or they grab it you know so pretty sharp I keep hitting the button there should probably choke back a little bit on it but not bad close it up there we go. all right let's get the stain for the handle we'll throw some stain on it I'm calling that done okay I've got our stain here I don't know what's going on with this camera it's the JVC $189 new. Now I didn't give that for it. I think I gave 20 bucks for it, but regardless, you know, updating updating file management. I couldn't get it to start recording. I don't know. I get the extra money. I'm getting a Sony, a good Sony. And I'm just gonna rub this on here. The more coats you give this stuff, 
the darker it gets. I don't want it real super dark. See, it's kind of dark up here at the end where it has been oiled at one time. Um, so, and then of course I oiled it a little bit, you know. Because uh, the blade was real stiff on it. But, and I think that is all this thing is going to get for me. That's it. That's all I want to do with it. Oh, better get the end, huh? Alright. I'm going to let that set for a minute. I'm going to wipe the excess off with a rag. And then let it dry fully. And then I think I'm done with that thing, guys. That's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to make it functional. I know it's not a uh, it's not, you know, it's not like brand new like them, them guys do, which I probably wouldn't have done it to this one anyway. There is, I noticed two teeth missing. Uh, there's one out here on the end. There's a tooth missing there, and there's one right about there. It's missing a tooth. There we go. Right there. And right there. Uh, but... There's some things I think are just better left alone. You know what I mean? But I like it. My little treasure. Okay guys, so this is what we ended up with. Like I said, it's not uh it's not fully restored. I didn't want it to be. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching guys and uh Keep an eye out for our next little project, which is going to be this World War II era emergency escape hatchet or axe. Um, I'll explain more about this when we do this video. Again, it's not going to be a complete restoration. We're just going to clean it up, make sure it's got a nice little edge on it. So I'm going to use this for camping. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you all are staying safe and feeling well. And Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. Monkey just got home, so I'm going to go in and spend a little time with her. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.